go to visit the great enclosure in Bahuru at Great Zimbabwe and if you've never been to Great Zimbabwe I really do highly recommend it. It is an absolutely magnificent piece of cultural history. If you do go there you will of course see within the center of the great enclosure off to one side the conical tower and standing next to it you'll see these two very large trees overshadowing it. Those trees are this the common red milkwood in South Africa is known as the Transvaal red milkwood, Mimsob Zaheri, we call it here Muchachete or Umbumbulu in Ndebele. How's it guys? I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. No prizes for guessing where I am. Clearly I'm not in Great Zimbabwe. Uh, but I am standing on the banks of the Runde River and this tree is above me and you can see I'm in a whole grove of them actually and it's dripping with fruit at the moment. Lots of excitement and activity from the monkeys and the baboons and the birds. And I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about it. So the Memsob Zaheri is, it's one of four trees in the region in that uh, genus. Uh, it's in the Sapotashi family, uh, which is the milkwood family. And it's uh, well known and uh, very popular for its fruit. Uh, quite a high vitamin C, about 50 to 80 uh, milligrams per 100 grams, which puts it on sort of par with an orange, uh, a bit more than an orange actually. And it's these little fruit. Uh, the fruit are quite easy to tell, although they do look a lot like um, uh, the fruit from uh, the uh, Diospiros uh, mispilliformis. And so does the bark, by the way. So, and, and funny enough, where I'm standing, there's a <laughs> A jackalberry, the Diospirus mispilliformis, just over there. So they often grow together as well. So you do have to keep your wits about you. But there are a few easy diagnostic features. Uh, so the fruit have got these uh, persistent calyx. Uh, they've also often, especially when they're still on the tree, uh, they've got this long pointy style on the end. Uh, they're quite sort of mealy, reasonably sweet. They've got uh, at least one seed in them, sometimes up to four. Uh, popular with humans, popular with a lot of animals, great tree to plant uh, in if you're trying to attract wildlife or trying to attract birds to your garden. Uh, it's fairly uh, frost tolerant, uh, so you can grow it in a wide range of locations. Naturally it occurs generally in these riverine areas, hot areas, dry woodland areas, uh, and it's found in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Mozambique, in Southern Africa. Um, it's a very popular tree. The uh, diagnostic feature here is, as the name milkwood would suggest, is the white latex that you can get from the leaves. So the leaves are simple. They spiral around uh, the branches. When you look at the young branches, you'll often see dense reddish hairs, although these fall away as they grow bigger. Um, and on the leaves as well, again, the, when they're bigger, the leaves are smooth. Uh, the margins are entire and they've got this very characteristic and clear prominent midrib underneath that's kind of a yellow color. Uh, it's pretty stark and, and very visually apparent when you look at it. And of course, if you're still not sure, as I said, it does look a lot like a jackalberry. If you're still not sure, if you just break open one of the leaves, you'll see that milky latex, then you know 100% that this is the milkwood. All right, guys, I think I've given you enough of it. Just show you this beautiful, beautiful bark, which is really characteristic and, and kind of just immediately apparent. Also, it's just very striking. I'm off to go have a look at some of the jackalberries around here. It's lovely to be in this grove. It's a fairly sizable tree, uh, often compared visually to a fig in the way that it looks, just broadly the kind of jizz, although when you get close, it's obvious it's not a fig. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. If you like it, you can hit subscribe and then you'll always be informed when there's new videos out. And if you really look, like what I do, you can support me through going, going to my Patreon site, patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter. All right, thanks guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Plenty more to come. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.